do you think you're doing? You're not smart enough for video. You gotta do your research and look into it more before you can start filming yourself. How dare you try and teach other people? You're too ugly for video. You got a face for radio. You don't even know what you're doing. Making video. You gotta watch millions of YouTube videos before you can figure out how to do video and start posting it. You don't have time for video. You got more important things to do. What do you think you're doing? Ah! On today's episode, I'm gonna talk about when you should start making videos. My name is Nick Bonatotibus, and this is Digital Champions, the show about helping you master the digital marketing world. You may be asking yourself, Nick, you got a devil on your shoulder. Where's the other guy? Well, the truth of the matter is, it wasn't the devil. Unfortunately, it's your subconscious. It's your inner self telling you not to do these things, of why you can't do these things. But I'm here to tell you that you can, and you can overcome. Don't listen to that voice. There are people out there that need to hear your message. You can't worry about all these little things and worrying about what people are saying and what people are gonna think about you. Video can do amazing things for you, your brand, your business, and it's gonna help you change as a person in just being able to understand, to step out, step out of your comfort zone and feel what that feels like. It's an amazing thing when you start doing these things and you start to become more and more comfortable. These things can be difficult to get started, but once you get it going, things become so much easier and you start to become more and more comfortable in front of the camera and you stop worrying about what other people are gonna say, what other people are gonna think. It doesn't matter. If you have a message, then you need to share your message. Share your mission. You can't worry about what other people think. People, this is marketing. You need to be willing to do things that are gonna stand out. Creating video content is one way where you can stand out. Creating content where you open up and really share about who you truly are. If you think that you can get away with just getting what, doing what other people are doing, then you're just gonna blend in like everybody else. You need to be willing to do things that are different. Now, you don't have to dress up like a devil or do any other ridiculous special things like that. That's just me. That's what I like to do. It's funny, I enjoy it, it's entertaining. I hope that you find entertainment value from it as well, but you don't necessarily have to do that. You need to be you. Be your true, authentic self. This is how you create the content. Now, the question is, when? When do you start creating the content? The answer is now. You need to start creating the content now. When it comes to YouTube, they want you to have consistent content, so it's gonna take some time for you to build steam and build up your library. Once they understand that you're creating that content consistently, then you're gonna be more likely to rank and more, up, more likely to show up in people's searches. But you need to start creating the content now. Start building up YouTube, start putting out the videos. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be super professional. But there are things that you can do to help you to make it look professional for when you're getting started. Or if you've already got it started and you wanna take it to the next level. There are courses for that. I got one. But you can also find time and watch things on YouTube. Generally, it can take some time, and I spend lots of time, lots of hours watching things on YouTube, and I wish that there were more things out there that could have helped me during that time. I'm here to help you, but you have to get started. Regardless if you decide to learn more about how I can help you, if you get started and just start creating content, just start creating video on your phone and posting it, go live. If you're nervous about putting yourself on camera, here is my challenge to you. Start by doing 30 days on your Instagram or Facebook story. It will help you get more comfortable. There's not as many people watching it on the stories and it'll be a great opportunity to start to get more comfortable. Practice, do it more. As soon as you can become more comfortable, make it easier for you to get in front of the camera and make some content and start making a difference both in people's lives and their businesses. If you like this video, click the link below to download my free ebook, Video Social 101.